Today I'll share with you a very beautiful story of an answered dua. This story is of a great scholar and master of prophetic narrations named by Al Hassan bin Sufyan and Naswi. He was a very pious and virtuous person. During his quest for knowledge, he went with nine other students to study hadith in Egypt with a certain Shaykh al Hadith. But after a few days, they had nothing to eat because their money had run out. After suffering for three days, they had no other option but to go outside and beg. For honorable, self respecting, and conscientious young men, begging was no easy task. It was finally decided they would draw lots to determine who would go outside and beg. It fell on the shoulders of Imam al Hassan bin Sufyan. Instead of stretching his hands out to people, Imam al Hassan bin Sufyan performed two rakas of prayers and then started a long supplication in a corner of the mosque. He was shy to go out and beg to people. So instead, he has prayed two raka of salah. Then he started making dua. He lifted his hands to the heavens and prayed to Allah Almighty in absolute humility. He was still kneeling in supplication when a well-dressed and handsome young man entered the mosque and asked for him. The other hadith students pointed towards him. The imam raised his head and ended his prayer. The young man said to him, O oh Sheikh, the present Egyptian ruler, Amir Ahmed bin Tulun Abu Abbas Turki, has sent me to you. He extends his greetings and begs your pardon for being unaware of your circumstances. Taking care of you was one of his responsibilities. He apologizes for the act of omission. He will present himself to you tomorrow and I have brought you something from him which you must accept. The young man placed pouches containing a hundred dinars each before every student. The Hadith students were very pleased at this generous and kind gesture and asked the young man, How did Amr ibn Tulun come to think of us? The young man said, the Amir was taking a nap in the afternoon when he saw in a dream a lance-bearing horse rider floating in the air towards him. The rider approached the Amir, poked him in the side with the lance and said in an imperious tone, Rise and help Al-Hasan ibn Sufyan and his companions. Go and help them. They have been hungry for the past three days. The Amir woke up and immediately gave me the dinars to deliver to you. Shortly afterwards, the Egyptian ruler went to the mosque to see the Hadith students in person. He purchased the land around the mosque and donated it to the mosque and the students. So in this story, it says that when you beg to Allah and when you don't beg to people, Allah himself sends you your sustenance from places that you don't even imagine. So when these students of knowledge, they were asking Allah, they were begging to Allah, they were praying to Allah, Allah has made the ruler of Egypt to send gifts for them, to send food for them, to send wealth for them. So make dua to Allah, and it's not a difficult task for Allah to answer your du'as. Keep making du'a and inshallah, Allah will grant you what you want. Inshallah, we will continue this du'a series. May Allah make it easy for us.